In South Central China, something incredible is being constructed. To see this thing emerging out of the landscape, it's absolutely fantastic. China is building the largest telescope in the history of mankind. When in operation, FAST will be able to detect radio signals thousands of light years away, at the edge of the universe. The first word that comes to my mind is mind-blowing, just, just a mind-blowing concept. It is set to rewrite our understanding of the cosmos as we know it. It, it does provide almost a quantum leap in capability. FAST is destined to answer some of astronomy's biggest mysteries. Are there other intelligent civilizations out there? In remote Guizhou, a 45 million year old crater has been selected to house a man made marvel. The cast geology proved ideal for flood prevention. Sheltered by the rugged mountains, five kilometers from human interference, this is the ideal location to store a radio telescope. But building it is a major challenge. It's March 2011, and workers on the FAST project are breaking ground. Initiator, chief scientist and chief engineer at FAST, Professor Nan is the heart, brain and soul of this ambitious project. Roads had to be hammered out in very difficult terrain to get all of this enormous volume of metal uh, into this uh, particular limestone depression. Nothing on the scale of FAST has ever been attempted before. So Professor Nan and his team had nowhere to turn for research reference or inspiration. To have, have actually thought this through, done the simulations, done the prototyping and so on, uh, to get to this point is very impressive. FAST represents a new frontier in the evolution of the telescope. With a 500 meter dish, it will be the largest surface area telescope on the planet and the most sophisticated radio telescope known to man. FAST is going to transform uh, capabilities in uh, astronomy and specifically in radio astronomy. Natural radio emissions from our galaxy were detected accidentally in 1932 by Carl Jansky, a physicist at the Bell Telephone Laboratories. FAST will be three times more sensitive than the existing largest telescope, Arecibo, and able to detect even the faintest of radio waves thousands of light years away.
机会，这是过去我们没有的。Two years in, and the giant build is well underway. But it is not just the scale of FAST which makes it more sensitive than previous radio telescopes. It's a very innovative、uh, design. FAST is the next generation. An intrinsic problem with radio astronomy is the nature of radio waves themselves. 天体的无线电波是平行的，只有反射面是。剖面的形状的时候，它才能汇聚成一点，才能进入接收机。To solve this problem, engineers have come up with a brilliant idea: a cable net which pulls the reflector into the paraboloid state. 陛下，非常复杂。Ten thousand cables form a complex net to cushion the dish, and two thousand two hundred and fifty articulated joints. Fix onto the dish to manipulate its shape. 安装每一根这种里面的这个锁网里面的每根锁，其实是非常危险，而且是非常艰难的一项工作。Fast's 500-meter dish is a jigsaw made up of 4,450 individual automated panels. After morphing into its paraboloid shape. The dish can then point in any direction to track and receive a signal. Very, very sophisticated system. The, the computer control of all of this is,、uh, is, is impressive. The dish is almost complete, and attention switches to the focus cabin. Ah, my name is Yao Rui. I'm responsible for the focus cabin on the telescope. The focus cabin on a telescope houses the feeds that receive the radio signals once reflected off the dish. 一开始参与到 FAST 的时候，因为当时是学生，没有想到会是会一直跟到现在，已经跟了整整十一年了。FAST's focus cabin is unique. Suspended 140 meters above the dish, it works in perfect harmony with the active surface to alter its position while tracking the movement of the radio source. There needs to be all sorts of clever ways of controlling the system in the focal cabin. That's an innovation. The precise directional tracking of this 30-ton focus cabin relies on just six cables fed through six towers. We need to use six cables to connect to a 30-ton thing. It's very difficult to connect to a 30-ton thing. The directional tracking system used in FAST is a global first for large radio telescopes, giving engineers a remarkable level of control over the focus cabin. It can be hoisted into a position above the dish to within 10 millimeters of a designated point. And so the designers were challenged with making it as compact and lightweight as possible. Yao Rui is checking the cabin's internal mechanics. Our equipment is too many. Electric equipment, it will emit electric waves. Then it will immediately be detected by our equipment. That means that, at the end, the things we get back are our own emissions. That's not possible. The waves produced by the cabin's own equipment need to be contained so that they don't interfere with the work of the telescope. This gate is the telescope's equipment. This 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 is
A pulsar is the matter that remains when a star eight times the size of the sun explodes. A pulsar rotates thousands of times a second and is the universe's most accurate clock. By measuring the signals from these superb rotating clocks, you can measure all sorts of subtle effects predicted by Einstein, which we cannot do on Earth. We can't even do within our own solar system. When in operation, FAST will be able to detect the faintest of signals from phenomena never encountered before. China are taking a big step forward in astronomy. The science that is in front of them has great prospects of transforming our view of the universe. It's July 2016 and the final panel is being placed in the dish. Local lad Chen has been given the privilege and responsibility of lowering the last panel into place. It's in place. The structure is complete. For some, there's excitement, but for others, it's just the start of the next phase of hard work. All that remains is for the cabin to be lifted into position so that the telescope can be fully functioning. For Yao Rue, it is a tense day. They have practiced the lift using a lightweight model, but today it is the real thing. To safely lift the cabin from a static position, the start weight on each cable needs to be equal. Yao Rui decides she needs to check the cables in the towers herself. Yao Rui is now confident that the lift can go ahead. The telescope is now ready to start its observations. Quichilo 